Backstory I'm a 23-year-old girl, and have a 35-year-old brother who, up until the last two years, I would have considered myself close to. He is the reason I found my passion for gaming and tech because he would let me play on his devices slash accounts. He moved out when I was 11, but I would still occasionally talk to him over the phone or go visit him. When I was about 17, he realized that I bought my own console and suggested that we play online together since we lived in two different states, I agreed. We would play together almost every night, but I got really busy with school and then just couldn't find the time to play. What he did, and why plus how it affected me. When I graduated high school, I didn't pursue higher education right away because I was not only broke but traumatized from having to beg my mom for food and essentials since I was 13. After about three years of working, I managed to save up $12,000 by basically only spending money on bills, food, and essentials. My goals with this money was simple, buy a car for like $8,000, a PC for $1,600, and have a rainy day money. Out of the blue, he contacted me saying that we needed to play this new game called Apex Legends, since I was exclusively playing Fortnite and going to school again because I was getting close to my goal, it didn't seem like a problem for me to learn a new game. Surprisingly enough, I fell in love with this game, so much so that I would grind ranked with him and my niece every night after work. More importantly, I was super content with how close me and my brother were. Like who games slash talks with their brother that's way older than them living in another state every night, well, one day he called me on my way to work and asked to borrow $800. I was surprised because he had never asked me before, but also flattered for some weird reason. He said he was going to pay it back in February of next year, we were in June, because he was going to have a big return. Since I was planning to buy my car at the beginning of next year, I thought well as long as he gets back to me before I buy it, right? This is would be what I would continue to tell myself. Of course once I said yes, he started to ask me more frequently. To the point that I felt as though he was asking me to play just to ask for money. From June to December, I had managed to loan him $3,800, and wasn't hearing from him a whole lot. When February came up, I had not talking to him in months because he wouldn't respond to any of my texts or take my calls. At the time I thought oh he's really on hard times and something is wrong, but my younger sister was still calling my niece, his daughter, so it couldn't be the internet or phone. He called me early February saying that he needed to borrow $2,000 more and that he would pay me back in full in two weeks. I asked him if everything was okay and he said yes, and I really appreciate everything you have done for me, but don't worry you're handled. I believed him and was just so happy that nothing he did was on purpose, and he was going to keep up his end of the deal even though I gave him so much money. After that, it was radio silence from his end. I was so angry. Two months had passed and not a single peep. To the point, I started to send him very angry messages that were very out of character and out of my comfort zone because I had never talked to him like that. I was very depressed to the point I was having night terrors for some reason and crying every night. It got worse and worse to the point that I just didn't want to continue on with living. To make matters worse, 
My mom lost her court case and we got evicted. I lost so much money in that whole ordeal. I think I had about $3,000 left when we found a place, I would think of it as $8,800 to make myself feel better. When I exhausted all options of trying to contact him, I decided to contact my niece and tell her to give him the phone, this was the last resort, because if he was ignoring me, then I would lose contact with her as well. She gave him the phone, and he just sounded so nervous, my heart sank. He immediately ended the call and texted me I'll call you later. When he just called me, he told me that he was going through a really bad eviction and showed me on FaceTime how much he owed which was $2,000 then he read, supposedly for the first, all of the nasty text I had sent him. He couldn't believe that I thought that he would do that on purpose. Shockingly enough, he asked for $2,000 more dollars and I stupidly obliged because I didn't want my nieces and nephews to be homeless, and he said that after all of this everything was gonna be good money wise. Another couple of months went by and still nothing no contact, no repayment, and no contact from my nieces and nephews. As a result, I had to stay at a job I absolutely hated and basically begged to be fired. I can't put into words how hurt I was, and how hard it was for me to exist on a daily basis. Now I finally stopped being naive slash delusional slash dumb slash in denial slash trusting, and told my family what he did, and why he is not talking to us at the moment. More importantly, I contacted his wife. I told her everything, she was shocked and pretty much confirmed that everything he told me was a lie. She promised me that he was for sure going to pay me back and that she was going to talk to him about ignoring me. Couple weeks went by and still nothing. I talked to her again and she said that she told him to call me. Since I knew that, he was just blatantly ignoring me, I went to the, the courthouse and prepared forms to sue him. One of the conditions was that I had to alert the party that I was going to be suing if they didn't pay me back. I messaged him on everything, told his wife, and even told my mom to DM him on Facebook because God knows I ain't on there. I gave him till February, and he zelled me $2,000 without saying a word. It has been a month since he paid me back 25% of what he owed me but it's progress. I honestly don't think we'll ever talk again because I hate him and I'm sure he feels the same, but I'm just so happy that I didn't have to sue because it won't just hurt him but the kids too. Here's where the question comes in. Since he still owes me $6,000, Public transit is driving me crazy and we don't talk, what should I do if he stops paying me back or only pays me every February? Should I still sue? Drop it. Confront him in person, alternative? Anyone that has taken the time to read this I appreciate you and would love your thoughts on this. P.S. I know I was an idiot for giving him that much and everything else I did in a situation lol.